I think a lot of people out there would imagine that the students who need the least amount of study coaching, help and advice would be students who are perfectionists. Uh, I often get a slightly confused look when I say that uh, I focus an enormous amount on helping students who are perfectionists with their studies. A lot of people believe that being a perfectionist means that you, you strive for excellence, that you won't accept anything less than brilliance, and that obviously means that you're going to work harder, work longer, be more efficient, etc., etc., and therefore perfectionists probably make the best students. The higher the levels that you study, the higher the levels of uncertainty. Exams no longer require as much memory learning or routine learning. Uh, they require more problem solving. They're more unseen. And therefore, it becomes extremely difficult to fully, 100%, confidently prepare for that exam. Uh, you know, in earlier levels of studying, in a lot of cases, students can get away with memorizing an enormous amount of work. Uh, you know, with memorizing the knowledge, memorizing as many examples as possible, and the exam will be a copy of a combination or some of that information. They can regurgitate their knowledge. A student who is a perfectionist is very good at memory, is very good at trend analysis, pattern analysis, and they will feel fully prepared for an exam like that. However, the, the higher the level that you study, the less memory work there is and the more problem solving. And problem solving by nature, especially in an exam, is giving you a problem that you've never seen before in a way that you've never come across before and expecting you to solve it. Based on all the knowledge and all the work and all the questions, all the stuff that you've done, it's based on that. And it's that's the foundation, but it's not the same as. So how does a perfectionist feel 100% ready for a situation that is by nature uncertain? It's impossible. <laughs> there is, you know, there's absolute contradiction. For a perfectionist, this is completely counterintuitive. How can you possibly expect me to prepare properly for an exam when I don't know what I'm going to face? They work harder and harder, uh, you know, the way that they used to study, the, the memory, uh, remembering examples, analyzing examples, analyzing questions uh, in, the, in the hopes that this will prepare them for the exam that they're going to face. That so when they face that exam, they will know what to do. They will know what the solution is, when in reality, they have to build a solution from nothing. Not something that a perfectionist is comfortable doing. Completely outside their comfort zone, not based on habits. It's counterintuitive. It doesn't make sense. And you can never fully prepare for that. So therefore... Um, I find that perfectionist students have some very specific study habits and traits that are very detrimental to their studies, especially as they move higher and higher in, in, in their academic lives. One, they avoid doing questions. Why? Because they're not ready. Uh, they're not ready for those questions. I'm not prepared to attempt something unless I feel confident that I have mastered the knowledge enough to do it. So there is no point in trying something now. If I try something knowing that I'm going to fail it because I don't know enough, I don't understand why you expect me to try this. It makes no sense. It's, they will focus very heavily on theory, memorizing theory, getting to grips with the details, the technical levels, the, the knowledge, the work, absolutely mastering the content as far as possible until they feel 100% ready that they are capable and ready to and prepared to approach a question. Unfortunately, an exam is not an assessment of your theory. It is an assessment of your ability to solve questions, which requires you to practice questions so that you can practice that skill.
the skill of solving problems in uncertain environments. For a perfectionist, failure is apocalyptic. And unfortunately, there's very little difference in the experience of failing while you're studying and failing in an exam. Um, if I fail the question while I'm studying, it means that I'm going to fail the question in the exam. So therefore, I avoid failure at all costs, which means that in a lot of cases, they'd rather not try um, in case of failure because, again, because I'm not ready. So failure is such a big thing that it causes paralysis. They don't study, they stop studying, they stop doing questions because they are so terrified of failure um, and what it means, and they can't separate failure as a learning process uh, from failure in the exam, so they just avoid it entirely. And obviously, obviously, logically, failure is part of learning. You fail at something the first time you do it, and you fail less and less and less and less until you eventually pass. It's a journey. Getting used to the idea that you're going to fail questions and you're going to fail at attempts and you're going to fail at practice situations uh, while you're preparing for that exam for perfectionists, um, it's extremely challenging, very difficult, and these types of things impact what they do every day. Studying towards a, an exam that requires problem solving, understanding, and uncertainty, these two things, if nothing else, will affect the way that they study. For a student who has put 90% of their effort towards theory and 10% to questions, when the exam is 100% about questions, it doesn't add up. For the perfectionist students that I coach, I spend a lot of time helping them understand how these traits impact their studies on a daily basis. And pro probably or possibly more importantly, how these traits impact their thinking and their emotions because our emotions and our thoughts drive our habits and they drive our approaches, they drive our decisions. And so therefore unpacking and being aware of the thought process, being aware of the habits, being aware of the emotions underlying all this stuff helps students look at this logically and decide how to approach this. Decide to, you know, to, to attempt questions instead of focusing on theory, even though it feels horribly uncomfortable. Uh, it means that I can support them through this. Uh, I understand what they're going through. I understand how they feel. I understand what's going through their head. And I can hold their hand through this process as they shift their approach, as they shift their habits, as they shift their thinking and work towards preparing for that exam rather than sticking to a habit and sticking to an approach that doesn't match what the exam is going to evaluate or it doesn't actually match the outcome of the exam. It doesn't match the performance requirements of the exam.